Dozens of people rallied to send a message to the Bonneville Power Administration. Take your transmission lines somewhere else. Those towers would stretch 75 miles from Castle Rock and cut into parts of Clark County in Vancouver. K2's Joe Ranieri joins us live from Vancouver. So, Joe, what do these protesters want? Well, they're looking at really looking at the long-term health care effects. Now, uh, it will be later on this summer when we get a better idea where these towers will be placed. And I talked with several residents at today's rally who said they were worried about, one, the long-term health care effects, plus also possibly losing money on their homes and their property. They want the uh, BPA to kind of maybe focus on more of a rural area to put in these towers. Yay. Yay. No. No way. The message was clear at this no rally. Way. BPA. No. Keep transmission towers from going in anywhere near these people's homes in Washington. We believe they should be uh, put in unpopulated areas where they don't affect anybody. The BPA has outlined nearly 50 areas along Interstate 5 where towers like these will stand, giving thousands from Washington to Oregon power. But these residents don't look at it like that. They're worried about the impact on their health. The EMF issue is uh, electromagnetic force which uh, emits radiation just like your cell phone does or microwaves but it's at a low frequency and there have been studies that it uh, has a possible impact to leukemia for children. Doug Johnson with the BPA says no link has been found between magnetic fields and health risks. It's very important to remember that these magnetic fields are the same kinds of fields that you get from computers, uh, common household appliances, the alarm clock, you sleep next to at night. So all of that has to be taken into consideration. For longtime Clark County resident Becky Manson, she's worried she'll lose money on her property with these towers going in. I wish you'd have spent the last 10 years working with other agencies to figure out the route that would best accommodate your lines without infringing on private property owners. Instead of running through areas where there are homes and schools, they want to see this project moved. What we're saying is, is move it further east into DNR and state forested lands. Now construction on this could still a good couple years away. I talked with Doug Johnson with the BPA who says possibly by 2013 we could be seeing some building throughout the, uh, the area, the designated uh, area for this plant. Live in Vancouver, I'm Joe Ranieri, K2 News.